been studying solving rational equations. We've even been rearranging formulas for a different letter using the process of solving a rational equation. Um, there are several types of story problems um, that involve rational equations, and one is a work-related problem. It's a situation where you take two people and put them together to complete a project. They don't work at the same rate. One person is slower than the other. And so when you put them together, you're going to have a faster and a slower person working. In this particular case, we're going to have um, Sam, who can complete a project in five hours, painting a bedroom, and Troy, who can do it in seven hours. Would you think about, so we're just going to think about this problem before we do the algebra. Let's process and get familiar with it. Would you pretend that you could clone Sam? You can make another Sam. And so if you had two Sams working together, and individually they can paint the room in five hours, wouldn't they be able to finish that in two and a half hours, barring that they bump into each other all the time and slow themselves down? But two people at the same rate, if one did it in five, couldn't they finish it in two and a half hours? Let's just write that down, two and a half hours. Let's say you had two Troys. So you cloned Troy, and they put them together in a room, and they could paint the room by themselves in seven hours. So couldn't they paint that room in three and a half hours? But we're not going to put clones together. We're going to put Sam, who's a little bit faster, with Troy, who's a little bit slower, and we're going to see how fast they can paint that room. They're going to work at the rate that they could by themselves. So wouldn't they actually finish this project somewhere between the faster two and a half hour situation and the slower three and a half hour situation. So first, we're, we're thinking along those lines. Now, let's, still thinking, we're not doing any algebra. I don't even know that I'd write any of this down because it's not how I solve these problems. Um, if Sam and Troy worked for one hour, so Sam can paint a room in five hours. If he worked for one hour, wouldn't he get one-fifth of the work done? One-fifth of the room painted if he worked for one hour because he can do the whole room in five hours. And Troy works for one hour, and wouldn't Troy get one-seventh of the project done? But they're going to work together, not by themselves. And so if we added their work that they accomplished together, then we have to get common denominators, and so they would get 7 35ths and 5 35ths. Let's write that over here. 7 35ths and 5 35ths, or they get 12 35ths of the work done. 12 35ths. Mm. I don't want 12 35ths of the room painted, I want the whole room painted. So let's have them work for two hours. And so, wouldn't Sam get two-fifths of the room painted, and wouldn't Troy get two-sevenths of the room painted in those two hours? So again, common denominator 35, and so um, Sam will do 14 35ths, and Troy will do 10 35ths, and together now, they've done 24 35ths of the project. Not good enough for me. I want the whole job done. So always want to finish the whole project. And if we did this again, um, if we said they worked for three hours, then we'd have three-fifths for Sam and three-sevenths for Troy, and that would be 21 35ths and 15 35ths. Uh-oh, let's see. I think they just did too much. <laughs> Um, they did 36 35ths of the painting, and I only wanted 35 35ths. I wanted this to be one, not less than or more than. I wanted the whole project done. So from this, just getting familiar with this problem, would you please notice that in every one of these fractional situations, we put their time that they do the project alone in the denominator. And upstairs was the time that they were working together. So when they worked together for one hour, they got that much done. For two hours, they got that much done. And for three hours, they, were, they overdid the work. But this three is their time working together in those numerators. 
was a little bit hard to see probably. And the five and the seven is, um, whoops, this is Sam. I'm just gonna put here Sam alone and Troy alone. And they didn't want to get 24 35ths done or 36 35ths done. They wanted to get the project done. They wanted to finish the whole. So finally, let's actually do this algebraically. So I was just trying to get you familiar with why, a couple of things. Why do you set it equal to one? Because I want the whole project done. All right. Um, and why do you put in the denominators? the five and the seven, because that's going to help us to re represent the portion um, when they work together for T hours and um, Sam um, can get this done in five hours. That's the portion of the project that Sam's going to accomplish. And then this T over seven is going to represent the portion of the project that Troy is going to accomplish. So it's T over A, sometimes we say, plus T over B equals one. A and B being the two different people. And then finally, the least common denominator for this is the number 35. And so when I multiply this by 35, and this by 35, and that by 35, I'm guaranteed to get rid of the denominators because 5 goes into here 7 times. So you have 7t. And 7 goes into here 5 times, and you have 5t. And then on the right, 1 times 35 is 35. 12t is equal to 35. And it's going to take them 35 twelfths hours. Let's, let's figure out what 35 twelfths is. 12 goes into 35 two times. If it went into 36, um, it would go in three times. So it goes in two and 11 twelfths of an hour for Sam and Troy to complete this project together. Remember, we had already estimated that it would be, be between two and a half and three and a half. Please notice it's not gonna be right in the middle. That's the, the thing you have to be careful of. And we had listed a table and it, at three hours, I think they had done more than, um, they'd done 36, 35ths of the project. So that's the amount of time that it would take them working together. I call these work-related applications of rational equations. It's one of the types of the story problems that you'll see. In the next um, clip, I'm going to share with you a problem that involves distance, rate, and time, and speeds of vehicles or boats or you know cars, boats, people walking, running, um, whatever. So we're going we're to talk about distance, rate, time problems as it relates to rational equations.